God bless you and welcome back to the channel Kingdom Crown Music Ministries. I am Prophet Kenneth Emmanuel Thornton and today God is telling you to not build your house in vain. Today God is telling you not to build your house in vain. This particular word can be found in the 27th division of the book of Psalms. Chapters, excuse me, verses one and two. And it reads, unless the Lord builds the house, its builders labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchmen stand guard in vain. In vain, you rise early and stay up late toiling for food to eat, for he grants sleep to those whom he loves. And this particular word is telling us that a lot of the things that we are doing on today, that you may be doing on today, that you are trying to please God, and some of you are just trying to please men, you are doing it in vain. Don't build your house in vain, saith the Lord. Don't worry about the views that you get on YouTube or if God gives you uh, a, a, a mission or a, a uh, purpose to, you know, uh, do a certain work. Do it as unto the Lord, saith the Lord. Don't do it as unto men. Don't do it to please men or women or friends. That is where you go wrong. Because if you're doing it for any re other reason as other than pleasing God and wanting to do his will and being about the father's business, you're building your house in vain. And a lot of us, we, we, uh, we build these houses, whether they be spiritual or physical, we build these things that you might have the right motive or you might have the right idea, but the wrong motive. You might want to uh, uh, praise the Lord and, and, and make, make a joyous uh, cry unto the Lord. But are you really doing it for the Lord or are you doing it for the views? Are you doing it to be received by men? Or do you want to sing in the choir or do you want to be seen singing in the choir? See, there's a difference. And a lot of what you see in gospel music in gospel period that that calls itself gospel or of God. It is nothing more than a show. It is nothing more than people putting on a show so that they can look good, get views and become popular or famous. And God is saying that is not of me. He is saying that that is not of me. He is saying that we must start building our house on uh, solid ground. And all other ground is sinking sand, saith the spirit of the living God. All other ground is going to cause, it might look good for a minute. It might look good for 10 minutes. It might look good for 10 years. But eventually, that foundation is going to come crumbling to the ground because it's not built on the solid foundation, which is Christ Jesus, the true gospel of Jesus Christ. It's, it's very, very popular to be Christian nowadays. It's very popular to be gospel music artists and, or gospel uh, rap artists or, or, or uh, you know, something involved with God. Jesus is the plug. Jesus is popping. You know, it's all of these Jesus sayings. And their heart is far from him, saith the spirit of the living God. Their heart is nowhere near him. They're doing it to get money. They're doing it to get uh, uh, views. They're doing it to get likes. And God is saying on today that you have already received your reward. You have already received your reward. So you can expect nothing of God when you build your house in vain. 
When you build your house based upon worldly principles and, and false motives in order to get views, likes, become famous. For any reason other than to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ and, and change lives through saving souls. God will keep you from all harm and watch over your life, but you have to have a sincere motive when you are seeking the Lord and when you are seeking to do the business of the Lord. Because kingdom business has nothing to do with views, has nothing to do with likes, has nothing to do with wanting to become famous. Kingdom business has everything to do with the gospel, the true gospel of Jesus Christ and the redemptive work of Christ on the cross, not being buried so much, but being resurrected as king and prince. And that he died so that we may live. He died and rose again so that we may live and that we may share that uh, truth with others so that they may live. It's not about views. It's not about likes. It's not about your reputation or your calling or, or you, you, you. This gospel is all about sacrificing the things that you love, the things that you want, the things that you desire for the things that God desires. And it brings to my mind the, the young rich ruler when Christ uh, told him to sell everything that he has and follow me. He, become very, he became very angry and very sad because he had great wealth and he didn't want to give up his worldly possessions for the kingdom which was a very, very bad mistake. And I'm sure now as he lifts up his eyes in hell, he wished that he had forsaken all of the wealth and follow Christ. But you may only be able to get one opportunity to do it. And God is telling you on today, unless the Lord builds the house, the builder builds in vain. Unless the Lord watches over your city, the watchmen stand guard in vain. You can do all that you want to do. You can get all of your, your, uh, your, your supplies together to protect your city. But unless the Lord stands guard over your city, your city, your watchmen stand guard in vain. God bless you. I pray that this message has found you in health, wealth, and wisdom. Once again, my name is Prophet Kenneth Emanuel Thornton with Kingdom Crown Music Ministries. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscription button, the notification bell, so you can be notified every time God inspires me to drop one of these powerful, powerful prophetic words. Build your house on a solid foundation which can be found only in Christ Jesus. May God bless you. May God keep you. And may heaven continue to smile upon you. Until next time, take care. God bless. Peace.